What's up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with yet another classic NASCAR Diecast review on my YouTube channel. Today, we'll be reviewing a card that I just recently picked up from an Instagrammer known as pchank underscore diecast. Um, he was selling these for $15, and I said, hey, you know, these cars are pretty are pretty hard to get, <laughs> especially for this year. Um, it is an 07 car, but it's going to be on Juan Pablo Montoya's 2007 Texaco Havoline Dodge Charger. Um, um, this is also known as his rookie car. So, yeah, the rookie car for uh, Juan Pablo Montoya. Um, this might look very familiar for any of you guys who are followers of Race Day 2011. He did review um, the Pit Spot car, which is basically uh, the one that doesn't have the opening features. But I, myself, <laughs> kind of got inspired by that review, and I found this diecast on Instagram. I was like, hey, you know what? Um, I, you guys know me, I love quality die casts, and this right here is really freaking cool. We got rubber tires, an opening hood, detailed chassis. I mean, look at that, man. Packaging's really cool as well, but look at that, guys. We're going to be unboxing this bad boy very soon, but just take a look. These boxes also look really cool. They are very creative as well. Um, and the clamshell packaging is definitely something that's cool for the, for the uh, adult collectibles. Yes, this is an adult collectible for, um, obvious reasons we'll get to in a second and on the back there is the rest of the stuff you guys want to see but i'm sure you guys want me to go ahead and crack open this car and let's take a close look at the juan Pablo montoya 2007 cup rookie car all righty guys we got the die cast out with box and we're ready to go and get things rock and rolling for this 2007 juan Pablo montoya tactical Aveline dodge charger for uh chip ganassi racing so what a beautiful looking car. I mean, there's one thing that I know a lot of NASCAR fans love, and a lot of them love the Texaco Havoline car. I mean, we have seen various drivers drive, drive that, that have driven this uh, fantastic looking paint scheme. Um, and feel free to comment below which Texaline Havoline driver do you guys like the most. I mean, I, I, I just remember the days when, you know, uh, not only Chip Ganassi ran the Texaco Havoline car. Um, remember the days uh, where Davey Allison, Ernie Irwin, Kenny Irwin... Uh, <laughs> Oh my God, guys. Uh, even uh, going to the 2000s with uh, Ricky Rudd and then soon to be Chip Ganassi Racing with Jamie McMurray, Casey Mears, and now Juan Pablo Montoya. And cool that they made a comeback with, with the Haviland sponsorship with Ben Rhodes um, in the uh, in the Gander Outdoor Truck Series. So that was really cool. Um, I am still upset that that diecast did not got made in the 164 scale. But my God, guys, this paint scheme is really freaking cool. And if you can tell by the back bumper, this is his rookie car, guys. I mean, I know Juan Pablo Montoya wasn't... I mean, he was pretty underrated at first, but once he picked up that win at Sonoma... Now, I understand this is not the car that he won at Sonoma. It was the COT version. And the paint scheme is a little bit more different. Um... Uh, it's supposed to have the big red logo, and it's, it's also on a COT. I think the paint scheme is also different as well. It's kind of like Casey Mears' car from... Um, it was supposed to look like Casey Mears' car, where they had the red stripe underneath. But I'm still digging this paint scheme, guys. I mean, as you can tell, I love me some good quality die cast. But yeah, I mean, he did one in 2007 at, that Sno at the Sonoma race. And then he got to an altercation with Kevin Harvick at Watkins Glen. So, yeah, I mean, Juan Pablo Montoya was, you know, uh, the guy to talk about when he came to road courses in his rookie year. <laughs> I mean, he did later Juan walk his Glen two more times. But, you know, I mean, he was very underrated in NASCAR. He never got that uh, oval win that a lot of people were promised that he was going to win. And by that, I mean the Brickyard race. Everybody kept talking about him, that he was going to be the big competitor to go along with uh, seven-time Jimmy Johnson. Um, but... My God, guys, I mean, even though Wapa Montoya, you know, is on, is one of the most uh, popular drivers in motorsports, he didn't really do his justice when it came to NASCAR, guys, <laughs> especially with what happened uh, at Daytona. You guys know what we're talking about. I Do I even have to mention it? I mean, we, we all know what happened at Daytona um, in, in that year. <laughs> if you're a NASCAR fan, you should know. But, I mean, I honestly feel bad for the guy. To be honest with you, because he probably could have accomplished a lot more because he had success in F1, an in IndyCar. I mean, my God, I mean, the guy is the F1 champion, a two-time Indy 500 champion. And now he's driving, and now he's been driving in sports cars now, guys. Um, he races in the IMSA, in the uh, IMSA series for the pro, for the uh, prototype DPI class um, with Team Penske. So, I mean, he's been driving that for, you know, a good amount of years now. Uh, but, my God, guys. <laughs> 
Montoya really definitely shook the world, guys, when he won in this paint in this very famous paint scheme. Would be cool if Kyle Larson could do a throwback of the Tex of the Texaco Havoline uh, car. That would be really cool. But yeah, guys, uh, can't go wrong with the sponsorship. As I just mentioned, this car also has an opening of function, which is the hood, detailed engine. Look at that. Really cool. And practically no flaws with this die cast at all. Look at that cool Dodge Charger. Yes, this is another die cast review I'm reviewing on the famous uh, manufacturer that's no, that has not been in NASCAR for about eight or nine years now. Dodge. My God, it would be cool to have them back, but it looks like it's not, not going to happen. But we also got rubber tires, guys, uh, detailed underneath chassis. You can even take the screws out as well, so you can take a look at the uh, under at the uh, underside of this car, like the interior. Because if you look, the interior is also detailed as well. We even got mirrors as well. Uh, actually, a mesh window net. I mean, that is just some great quality right there. I mean, look at that. Even the eight, the B pillar is nice and perfect. Detailed side skirts, detailed uh, windows. I mean, the I can see why these diecasts are pretty popular now. Look at that. It's even detailed where the uh, where the fuel um, entrance is right there, where they put the fuel in. Spoilers detailed. I mean, look at that, man. I mean, detail, details, details. You can't go wrong with that. Trust your car to the star. I believe that's what that's supposed to say. That's pretty cool. Express lube. I don't know why the hell they decided to spell it with X, but I don't know. Different. <laughs> and this side's the same as the other side, guys. But and look at all those contingencies, man. I mean, look at that. Even EA Sports, man. Every time I see the EA Sports logo, it just reminds me of all the good old NASCAR games we had. God. I remember when I picked up NASCAR 07 uh, and they had this car. Or was it NASCAR 08? Um, I think it was NASCAR 07. Um... And they had this car. And I was like, man, that is a cool looking paint scheme. And I'm glad to have this car in my collection. Um, also check out Racy Toy Limits review of this car as well. Um, but, you know, I don't really like to show off, but uh, mine's a little better. <laughs> uh, oh, man. But for all those guys, and I've had some experiences with Juan Papa Montoya. As you guys know, I do go to the Indy 500 every year. And I met him a few times. Um, I will say this, you know. Even though he is a very talented uh, driver in all forms of motorsports, um, besides NASCAR, just saying, <laughs> at least he won. Um, but even with that, guys, I mean, Montoya definitely has a little bit of an ego, and he's not really approachable. I mean, he's probably the least approachable driver I've ever uh, tried to interact with. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. I mean, and this comes from a Team Penske fan right here, guys, when he drove for Team Penske in the IndyCar series. So, um, yeah. That's all I got to say right there. I mean, feel, feel, free, feel free to post your comments and thoughts below on this diecast as I'm going to go and wrap up this diecast review of the Juan Pablo Montoya 2007 Texaco Havoline Dodge Charger for Chip Ganassi Racing. If you guys enjoyed this diecast review along with other diecast reviews, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and comment like, and I will catch you guys next time on another NASCAR diecast review. <laughs>